Um, my name is Stacy Wood. I'm the Public Information Officer for Buncom County Government. We are here today at the 4 p.m. media briefing, uh, September 29th. Uh, we have representatives from uh, Buncombe County Government, Black Mountain, Asheville City Schools. I believe Maggie's on the call. She, her connection was a, a bit spotty. So um, if she drops off, we'll have her own uh, at, 10, at the 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, we also have Bill Norton with Duke Energy and Sheriff Miller. To get us started today, we will start with remarks from County Manager Avril Pender. Thank you, Stacey. Good afternoon. Welcome, County. Let me start by saying that we hear you. We need food and we need water. My staff has been making every request possible to the state for support, and we've been working with every single organization that has reached out. My promise to you is that we are very close, and you'll have more information before the end of the day. We also know that cell service is key to ease in the hearts and minds of our loved ones. We are happy to share that as a stopgap, the city of Asheville has partnered with Verizon to set up a temporary satellite cell tower in the parking lot of 35 Woodfin Street. This tower will offer an opportunity for a limited cell reception within several city blocks of where it is parked. Again, that is 35 Woodfin Street and it, it would give cell reception within several city blocks of where it is parked. So thanks to our partner at the city of Asheville. There's a danger of more landslides today. Go to a designated public shelter if you have been told to evacuate or you feel it is unsafe to remain in your home. Our search and rescue crews are continuing to work. We know that we have areas in Fairview, Black Mountain, Swannanoa, and Barnersville, where the devastation is unthinkable. Those communities no longer resemble what they were a week ago, and loved ones are still trapped. Our search and rescue crews will not stop. There's a general population shelter at the AB Tech Conference Center located at 16 Fernanhurst Drive. That's in Asheville, zip code 28801. 16 Fernanhurst Drive, and you can please use the Victoria Road entrance. We also have a medical emergency shelter for individuals who are dependent on medical equipment and requiring power. That is located at 10 Genevieve Circle, Asheville, North Carolina. That is 10 Genevieve Circle. The shelter at the Ag Center is full, so please do not go there. That shelter is full, so you can utilize the shelter at, on the AB Tech campus which is the AV Tech um, Conference Center at 16 Fernihurst Drive for general population. And for those needing medical equipment requiring power, the shelter at 10 Genevieve Circle. We are working to set up food and water distribution sites throughout the county and are very close to that announcement. To help facilitate our sheltering process, AV Tech will be closed until further notice. We have many people that want to contribute to the Helene response. If you have donation, equipment, or other questions about specific needs, you can email Helene Donations at BuncombeCounty.org. That is Helene Donations at BuncombeCounty.org. If you'd like to volunteer, you can email Helene Volunteer at BuncombeCounty.org. Helene Volunteers at BuncombeCounty.org. It is important that we coordinate donations to best meet the needs of our community, more in, most impacted by healing. So again, for donations or of equipment, or you have questions about specific needs, please email Helene Donations at BuncombeCounty.org. And if you have like to volunteer, you can email Helene Volunteers at BuncombeCounty.org. Next. I'd like to introduce Black Mountain Town Manager, Josh Harrell. Josh? Josh, are you with us? Hello, Josh. Can you hear me now? We got Can you, you hear me now? We got you, thank you. Okay. 
Yeah, it's still it's still pretty bad here in Black Mountain. Um, we've got a lot of stuff done today. The roads cleared with trees. Active rescues have still been taking place. We're still getting folks out. Um, of course, water, we did get water today. Water has shown up. We've got some potable water tankers that came in today, and we are doing some distribution at Ingalls Grocery Store on Highway 9 in Black Mountain. Um, we are still waiting on food to arrive um, and extra resources from other places to relieve our staff who's been around the clock working for 72 hours, I guess now. Um, but we keep hearing help is on the way, and, and I'm thinking the interstate is, is getting hopefully clearer, and that will start rolling in. Um, that's about all I have right now. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that update from Black Mountain. And now, uh, Matt, Dr. Furman, uh, Asheville City School Superintendent, are you on the call? Were you able to? Hey, can y'all hear me? We can hear you. Okay. First, I just want to send out my thanks to all of the support that Buncombe County and the city has been serving um, for our community and also a heartfelt um, thinking of everyone out there who's been dealing with all of this tragedy um, across the county and across Western North Carolina. It's a difficult situation, but um, together we can all. <laughs> Maggie, you're cutting out. Sorry, Maggie, we lost you. Um, we did lose Maggie, so let's um turn it over to Bill Norton with Duke Energy. Bill, are you on the call? I am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Bill. So first things first, I just want to thank all of our customers uh, for their patience. Um, it, in our, our hardest hit areas here in the mountains, our restoration uh, efforts are, are really focused on two fronts. We're looking, first, we're looking to build, rebuild our transmission infrastructure in the upstate of, of South Carolina. And second, we're doing the same here in North Carolina. This, this critical infrastructure, it, it's, it's all interconnected. The, the mountain zone of North Carolina is really inaccessible in many, many areas due to mudslides, uh, flooding, block roads that everyone else has seen. It's, it's limiting our ability to assess damage and begin uh, making repairs. I have to say federal and state and agencies and local uh, emergency responders have been absolutely critical for us in assisting with road access. So thank you to them. Um, it, it's really helping us dispatch our crews. Areas that we can't reach, we're using helicopters and drones just to assess damage. But as floodwaters are receding, we're getting our first looks at, at some of these areas that were, were hidden by water. Um, you know, we're, we're gonna have entire sub, substations that were underwater, need to be repaired, some cases fully rebuilt. So this is going to be a, a multi, multi-day effort. We've got thousands of, of down power poles, transmission towers. Um, you know, we know we've got communities without power, without water treatment, without food, without gas, roads washed out. Wireless communications are, are, are coming back with Spotty. You know, we're, we're sending out um, updates to our customers about restoration. I know some of the updates aren't getting to you right now, um, but we are, we are working the situation. We worked in, in partnership with local and state emergency response agencies to assess the damage and restore power to Mission Hospital. Uh, in, in Asheville as quickly as, as we safely could. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're restoring power in a sequence that, that hits those public health and safety facilities first, and then, then to the greatest number of customers uh, working our way down as, as quickly as we can. As of today, we have 15,000 uh, power line technicians vegetation workers, support personnel from 19 states from Canada who are all here in the Carolinas restoring power. And our, our teams not only work in these impacted areas, they live there too. They're, they're out trying to restore everyone's power even when they've personally been affected at home. Um, 
So and, and ask for them. If, if you see a utility crew, please do not stop and, and ask them for information. They do not have that information at the crux. Uh, updates are being texted to customers today, as I mentioned. As soon as you receive can receive texts, you should get one. But for your safety and, and our crew's safety, please give our trucks a, a, a wide berth, just like you do with police and other first responders. Um, you know, if you see a Duke staging area, these are not FEMA sites. We do not have water or supplies available to the public as much as we wish we did. Uh, so stopping at these sites will only slow down the, the power restoration process. So uh, again, as I began, you know, thank you for your patience. We are out every day, every night, and we are not gonna stop until every home and business uh, that can receive power is restored. Thanks. Thank you for that update, Bill. Now we will transition to Sheriff Miller for his update. Thank you. Finally, we have another devastating update. We now have 30 confirmed losses due to the storm. Like the county manager said, we're still conducting search operations. And we know that those also may include recovery operations. The State Bureau of Investigations has sent us support to help notify the families and their loved ones and the Mexicans. Our thoughts and prayers are with the loved ones who are grieving these tremendous losses today. We will continue to update as we continue those uh, search operations and recovery, and we will report back 10 o'clock tomorrow 10 for the update, 10 a.m. Thank you for that update. Um, at this time, we will... Stacy, I need to add. Yeah. I'd like to add that this Buncombe County is still in the state of emergency. And we have extended that state of emergency now until further notice. As we continue to work in this recovery and response, we would keep that state of emergency in place. Thank you. And the state of emergency declaration and any other information related to the response can be found at bunkumready.org, just as a point of information for folks. At this time, we'll open it up to our media partners on the line for questions. Um, this is Keith Campbell from Astro Watchdog. Um, I have a couple of questions. Uh, the first is the 30 deaths, are those spread out around Buncombe County or are they primarily in Asheville proper? Can you give us a sense of of that? Yes, that, that will be throughout Buncombe County. As, as you can imagine, we're doing recoveries every, all across the county. Thank you. and. I'm curious, I, I, I watched the recording of this briefing at 10 this morning on now live. Um, there's no representative from the city of Asheville wondering uh, why that's the case. Why isn't the city of Asheville participating in these updates? They were here earlier this week and participated and we've been spreading it out and making sure we can hear from all parts of our community. They will join us again, but to, today it was the, the smaller towns were on call on our on this with us today. Thank you. Are there any additional questions? Um, Taylor Thompson here with News 13. I know the city isn't on this call, but is there any update y'all are able to give for them about the water system in the city? As they have shared with when they were on the call, they are working diligently to get that. They've been working with private and public partners trying to get that restored. We They will be back with us again next week, and they can give a more up-to-date response then. Okay, so they're not back at the 10 a.m. tomorrow. It'll be sometime next week. Tomorrow is next week, right? Tomorrow oh, tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, so they'll be back. So tomorrow at the 10 a.m. Okay. We will reach out and get a date. So Taylor, I'm not giving an exact date and time today, but we would reach out and get them scheduled. Okay. And then uh, just one more thing about the distribution points for water and food. I think you had said April, so later today, there'll be an update on where those points will be for people. 
Yes, we, we have okay. been hearing from the state that the water is on Black Mountain. It, it is coming over the um, Old Fort Bridge. We've been tracking this all day, trying to get okay. an answer to when it can be here. I don't want to overpromise and say I have water when the product is not here yet. So as soon as that product is here, yes, we would make an announcement. Okay, thanks, you guys. I have a follow up on that. When was water first requested? And was there any thought to um, requesting water before the storm actually hit? Yes, we actually and we actually had with hearts with hands, which is here in our community. We believe we could get water from them, but that got cut off by the Swan and River. So Imagine. once that got caught off, we had to then go to the state reserves, and we've been requesting from the state ever since. Thank you. Okay, some questions in the chat. Are there plans to provide portable restrooms or other public bathroom access? If so, where might that be focused in Buncombe County? We have we've provided um, portable restrooms and shower facility at the shelters but we have not put those throughout downtown or other places in our county. We would work with Griffin to see if there's options to do that. So we'll put that on our list to try to solve that and work with our state partners to get more restrooms and maybe some shower facilities available. But we've only done those right now at our, shower, at our shelter locations. Okay, when will we hear from the mayor? We would reach out and get that schedule. How long was power out at Mission? Question for Duke. Um, I heard uh, two days. Uh, we were still working on that last night. There were safety issues involved. It was a challenging restoration, but it received our full focus and we got to it as, as quickly as it could be safely done. Thank you, Bill. What support is available for those who need baby supplies? We, do. we are getting donations and collecting donations. We're specifically asking for um, diapers and, and everything as possible that we would need for hygiene products and stuff for our residents. So those are coming in. We're, we're getting support from several different areas. As soon as we get a, um, a place, we will let you know where we can distribute those and how we can get those. We would try to bring those to the water as well. We have in water and food, but prior to that, if we still don't have an answers on water, we'll get you some of those hygiene products that you need. And Bill, and I don't know if you can speak to this, Bill, if you can speak to any supermarkets coming online, do you have any ETAs on when a supermarket can come online where people can then get access to groceries and stuff? We don't have uh, individual supermarkets, of course. Um, typically they are connected to uh, major infrastructure as opposed to our individual homes on smaller infrastructure. So they should be coming back on sooner. That's that's part of our priority process. Thank you. Why isn't water being flown in? We have made that request as well. Is FEMA now on the ground in Buncombe? If not, any idea when they will be here? I know that today we had an update that there's a FEMA crew on the way. They should be here today as well, but I don't have an ETA. We, we've requested resources. We've been told they're here. They're on their way. I just cannot tell you today when they will actually land in Buncombe County. Thank you, Avril. What has the outreach looked like to public housing communities? It's really like the city. Public housing. public housing. I'm not sure what your question is. Uh, can you clarify your question, Sarah? We'll circle back to that question. Um, just not sure which communities you're specifically talking about. Um, any fatalities from power outage at Mission? Uh, not that we're aware of. That would we, one that clarification would, on that. I, sorry, one clarification on that. I do not know if they had backup power. I'm not certain about that. They may have had backup power while they were not connected to us. It took us two days for our power supply. It did have backup generators at mission. Yes. And that would be a question for mission as well. 
Is there an update on the 1,000 unaccounted for in Asheville mentioned earlier and where that now stands? We were able to get some of that cleared out and it was well below 600 at lunch today. So I don't know the answer to that this evening at four o'clock, but at lunch today, it was well below 600 numbers that people had been accounted for. We will get that, we'll get an updated number in the morning. How are supplies getting to Black Mountain and what resources are being provided? Josh, I don't know if you're still on the call. I am still on the call. Um, can you ask the question again? How are supplies getting to Black Mountain and what resources are being provided? this point in time we we have reached out to davis water on our own and we've got we had 16,000 gallons brought up here of potable water today we started distributing this afternoon at ingles that will continue until we tell them to quit um other other as far as other supplies go we've had a lot of people just donate us stuff bringing food from the community bringing different things uh you know white just different types of formula some diapers things of that nature that we're just trying to provide to people here in black mountain um, again we're being told when the interstate gets open on on the mountain then we will supplies will will be plentiful thank you josh are there any additional questions um i have one uh, on the request for water um, from the state um, and the idea of having it be flown in, you said you had requested that. What was the response? And was it was there an affirmative or was it like, we'll get back to you or tell us exactly what they. It said. wasn't an affirmative that they'll be flying it into the and staging it here in Buncombe County, but they're also flying it into stage for the entire Western region. So the, the answer was yes, that they would be flying in water for the entire Western region here into Buncombe County. But the time frame was not clear. Is that what you're Correct. saying? Correct. Okay. Can you explain how Black Mountain has received water, but no other communities have? I cannot. And and we would reach out as well. I, I heard Josh did a different route than we did. So we worked with Josh to see if we can replicate that route here in Buncombe County. So. And I'm not sure any of you can answer this question, but I'll ask it anyway. Um, the widespread cellular outage. Um, what what accounts for it being so widespread? Um, any idea? Because we're all baffled by that. We, we will reach out to Verizon, our partner. They're working to restore it, but they have not given us a cause for yeah. what happened with Verizon or at and or Spectrum, but we'll reach out to see if they can give us an, an answer to why Good. we've lost cell power. Thank you. Okay. We've already addressed your question about the city manager. Thank you. Um, and I will follow up with you, Ashley, individually on your question to just kind of explain. Um, let me, I need to go back to my notes and, and I'll follow up with you after this meeting. Um, are there any additional questions? Um, so B, we um, already mentioned that we would be coordinating with the city to um, bring the mayor into one of these briefings at a at a time early or next week, and tomorrow is Monday. So that's the answer to that question. Can't confirm we're not, we don't, uh, we take this day by day, hour by hour. And also, I want to thank all of the partners who are being, who are prioritizing these briefings as a way to get information to communities. It's, it's, yeah. So we just, we take it as needs pop up in the community. We reach out or those partners reach out to us because they want to get in front of you all. And we also appreciate your partnership in helping to spread this information throughout the community. All right. Okay, so at this point, 
I think we're going to wrap it up if I don't see any questions that are for the folks on this call. Thank you um, for joining us. And we will be back again tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yes. Recording stopped.